the government has introduced some changes to the Child Labour Act today that says that children under the age of 14 can work in certain cases where they are non-hazardous and home-based industries and if they do so, after school hours and in vacations. Now, these amendments open up a Pandora's box that could lead to rampant misuse. At least that's one of the concerns of the activists. 12-year-old Pushpa and her sister are in charge of this family-run dhaba in Okhla while their parents are away in Bihar for a month. Baby, tell me that you have to do this work for one month. You have to do this work for one month. You have to do this work for one month. You have to do this work for one month. It's a day. 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 Pushpa, you were telling me that you work with school? Yes, I work with school. If you go, you don't do it, you don't do it. Do you have to study school for that? Yes, I have to study school for that. So, how do you manage it? I manage it. Okay, what do you do? I do it. Yes, I do it. Yes, I do it. आप यहाँ पास में आपकी दुकान है आप ये बच्चियाँ बता रही थी कि आपके दुकान पर भी एक छोटा बच्चा है जो पढ़ता नहीं है लेकिन आपकी दुकान पे काम करता है नहीं जी सर हमारे घर के घर के लड़के हैं उसमें उसको सरकारी स्कूल में जाते हैं इसके बाद फिर ट्यूशन जाते हैं सर और टाइम मिलता है दस मिनट खाते पापा जी के काम जमा देते हैं दिस वुड बी अ क्लियर केस ऑफ चाइल्ड लेबर बट बाई यूजिंग दी ऑल इन द फैमिली आर्ग्यूमेंट मेनी बैंक ऑन एस्केपिंग प्रोसिक्यूशन सुन दे कुड हैव लीगल बैकिंग The cabinet has cleared amendments to the Child Labour Prohibition Act that allows children under 14 years to work in family yeah, enterprises and in the entertainment industry, so long as it doesn't interfere with their school. ये बहुत ऐतिहासिक निर्णय है। ये भारत के अंदर जो भी 14 साल के जो बच्चे हैं, वो बच्चे अभी आगे चलके कोई खारकने में काम नहीं कर सकते हैं। Though children under 14 are not allowed to work in any hazardous industries, also true for adolescents between 14 and 18 years, many are worried this decision will reverse the gains of decades of fighting child labour and goes against the grain of the right to education. The government calls this a historic decision, but child rights activists sound a word of caution. They are worried that this amendment opens a Pandora's box of exploitation and informalization of labour. Uh, they'll have recreation, they'll have rest, they'll have play, uh, they'll be able to do their homework, uh, they'll have a childhood. Whereas the children of the poor, we're comfortable with the fact that after school they'll go and they'll, they'll work again. Happy and comfortable with the fact that an artisan's child will remain an artisan's child, a rag picker's child will remain a rag picker's child, a farm worker's child will remain a farm worker's child. But that's not the idea of caste and I don't know what it is. The government says the idea is to nurture a sense of entrepreneurship. Those opposed question if it will come at the cost of their childhood. With Sandeep Pukan in New Delhi, Ket Kiangre for NDTV. Well, to uh, decide or look at whether this is going to dilute uh, the hard work that has been done to work against child labour in this country. Joining me in the studio is uh, activist Shireen, Shireen uh, Vakil Miller who is joining us in the studio. Also from Hyderabad, we have Shanta Sinha, the former chairperson of the National uh, Commission for the Protection of Child Rights. And China, thanks very much for staying on uh, to be part of this discussion as well. Uh, in fact, uh, China, let me just ask you uh, before I go to the others, what uh, are these, these amendments that we're talking about uh, about uh, children under 14 to be able to work in uh, home-based non-hazardous industries. Why has the government decided to uh, incorporate these changes today? What was the reasoning behind it? Maya, the honest reality is that there are a lot of children who do work post-school hours in their home base, whether it's somebody who is working as, a, you know, an iron man's daughter or son, or whether it's somebody who has a tailoring unit and post-school after homework, if somebody is assisting them, whether it's various such examples. And today, if you take even the entertainment industry, you take a show like India's Got Talent, you take any of the other programs where there are a lot of children who are under the age of 14 who have immense talent which needs to be applauded as well. Hmm. I think we're very clear that there are hazardous uh, jobs for children and there are non-hazardous which are monitored by parents and okay. under the supervision 
of your family concern hmm. so i think that uh, we if we get into every gamut and suggest that children uh, should not be able to you take cases uh, world over right. you take the biggest um, investment bankers some of whom start uh, you know home trade from the age of 12 and 13 okay. because of the right. interest in the okay. subject okay. Okay, so i think we're very clear uh, that there are areas which are completely no no like mining and etc saying so tell us your concerns about these changes well it's it's a really big concern and it's uh, it's many steps back because you know we uh, everyone has uh, fought everyone working in the uh, children sector the child rights sector to actually a uh, get child labor ban which the last bill of 2012 did and there were lots of recommend recommendations as to why this was the case as you know we have the right to education act that was brought right. into being that every child between As the ages of 6 must, must be. be educated it's a law and and we will never prosper if we do not six. the country's economy will never so, prosper and absolutely. here the big concern one of the statements i saw was that we do not want to uh upset or or change the social fabric of right. the country so what does that mean that we want to keep poor children, children poor are. okay sons of farmers farmers you know daughters of artisans are and not give them a choice uh, or enable them to okay, be whatever Shanta they want to be okay shanta sinha comment on this as well because uh, the ncpcr has worked uh, very strongly for the rights no, of I children in this, this country uh, how do you respond to these changes uh, i think uh, it's a very sad day and uh, very sad day for children of our country we thought that the amendment to the child labor act would actually end child labor make child labor history in the country but it seems it has legalized child labor through back door by allowing children to work at home right. and home based industry and we know that the informal sector is growing this will invisibilize child labor even in the earlier act before amendment child labor was not allowed in home based industry and the hazardous sector okay. but because it was home based industry so, many of the units went into the home even if they were hazardous or non hazardous children were working at home okay. just the other day we had a survey in agra on children making slippers and shoes and i was telling you they all said it was home based units right. and they were all crunching their bags sticking their soles and you know they were going to school but then this kind of help i think is no help to the family okay. just imagine oh. if children were all in school the families would be better off right okay uh, th that that's a fair point and uh, shaina before i come back to you uh, shireen i want to just ask you very quickly what shaina is saying is that the fact that these children go home and work and help their parents is a reality that is a reality you have to live with all sure. of us have to live sure. with so why not uh make that more organized no Is but why legalize that the fact that children you know if you're home and you're making a meal your child may come and help you that's fine no one is saying no to that huh. but the point is that's not what we're talking about you know we're not talking about 1 hour 2 hours so, someone learning someone doing a trade that's not what we're talking about we're talking about children uh you know working for hours you know not being able okay. to they, as it is please remember that these children come from very poor homes the fact that they should be that there for the first time we have you know the chance for children to go to school to be educated is a very have, big step it's a it? big step right. and it's very it's very arduous so so, so shaina uh, the fact is that you know whatever the rationale there are tremendous concerns about the fact that this could be misused and in fact there's no clarity on what family enterprise or non hazardous uh, industry home based would be and could that be misused how will the government monitor what it's saying these changes are needed to do how will you monitor it and who is family and who is family is shreen's no, question there are guidelines and the guidelines are very clear how would you want to how would you want to elaborate if a child who has an aptitude for music and wants to explore a career in music at a young age and wants to spend time doing that and if it is with the uh, provision of the parents conceding to the child i don't think that we are in a position to say that you know a child below 14 should not be no, exploring that talent that. Okay, so we're, it's we're all very clear children. yes we want them to one yeah. second let's okay. one second please, please, please give issue. me an opportunity i i okay, listen Shana, to I everyone very patiently they're not talking about music and handicraft i think they're concerned about the fact that more. right to education is something 
no 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 but there are art areas as well which are part of this uh, amendment and not yeah, just that in households we can all be living maya in a utopian world and suggest okay. that you know so, in poor households there is no use of anyone okay, helping so or supporting and there is another avenue which is to expose a child okay. in a healthy atmosphere right, to the realities right. of have, life we have and a minute left we have a minute nobody left is taking discussion. away the right to, to education okay, just just a second here but well, i think that it, it children should be allowed to explore uh, music and art and all children should be allowed to explore that not just the son or daughter of a musician or an artist and therefore it should be brought into schools brought into education properly into the curriculum and poor children whether it's sports whether it's arts whether it's music whether they want to be doctor or indeed a prime minister you won't be prime minister of the country if you okay. don't have schooling and education all right very quickly shanta sinha you were also saying something we have literally 30 seconds go ahead no no what i'm trying to say let us not trivialize the issue by comparing it with music and art as shireen has said that these are exploitative conditions of work they're all going to be hidden and children will never enjoy their right to education right. in fact the very purpose of the act was to link it to right to education and there will be a dilution of right to education so the children will lose their childhood i think it should be just dropped dropped all right so concerns about these changes shaina you're trying to sort of uh, explain what the rationale is but nonetheless uh, the people who work with child protection rights are not convinced and i think the fact that no, the rte the right to education, education act was also something that was nobody meant to go along with the, this child They're labor act is something reality. that we need to think about we have no more time on this discussion but thank you all uh, so much for being a part of it tonight